Good morning, STM. My name is Mikeli, and I'm here from your school prefects to talk to you about exams. So for some, this isn't your first rodeo, but for many, this may be. To help you prepare, I will be sharing a well-thought-out presentation with you today. So getting started. Uh, so exams are on November 9th for period 1 classes and November 10th for period 2 classes. They are soon. Exam preparation does not need to be overwhelming or difficult if you prepare yourself properly. So go through all your binders and notes. Make sure they are in order. If you are missing notes, get them from a friend, from the LMS, or ask your teacher. Make sure your binders are organized. Take out any loose papers and put them in order. In your phone calendar, make note of the dates and times of your exams. You may print out an online calendar if you prefer that. Use this information to make a study schedule. And allow a realistic amount of time to study for each exam. 15 minutes per exam is not enough. Proper exam preparation usually takes hours, so it's best to space your studying out over several days. You may want to allot more, time, er, more study time to subjects that you find difficult. Also, you may want to add details to your schedule, for example, to study Units 1 and 2 on Monday night for math. And choose times that work for you. Some people work better in the morning, others after school, or in the evening. Uh, for creating a study space, select an uncluttered area with good lighting, comfortable seating, and as few distractions as possible. If there are too many distractions at home, try the library or another quiet location. Identify anything that could interrupt or ruin your study plan, and figure out how to eliminate it or avoid it. For example, if you get interrupted by phone calls and texts, just turn off your phone and put it somewhere where it won't tempt you and make sure you get your work done. Or if you sit down and you go to watch TV and you know you're not going to get back up again to study, avoid Netflix or Disney Plus or any form of television and use the library to study instead. Have all your books and materials available and ready. Although many people have good intentions when they try to study with a friend, these sessions often turn into social gatherings. Unless you and your study buddies are truly committed, study alone. Um, it's important to take breaks. Set a work limit with short breaks. Research shows that students learn the most during the first and last 10 minutes of a study session. So try studying for 20 to 30 minutes before taking a stretch break. If short breaks often turn into long ones, then lengthen the time between breaks. You know yourself best, so adjust accordingly. You may want to have some water and a healthy snack with you while studying, if possible to avoid constant snack breaks. Good luck, STM. Remember to stay focused and ask for help if you are having trouble getting organized. Um, on Friday, there will be another presentation about how to study for different types of exams. And on Monday, there will be an exam day tips for success. Thank you, STM, and have a great day.